Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to get up and running with your own custom domain email using a service called Hushmail. Okay, so a question I get asked fairly often as I'm helping folks get up and running with their own custom website, so a website with their own custom URL, is typically how do I get my custom URL to work with email? Now what a lot of people will do is they will go use something called G Suite, which is something put out by Google. However, I haven't ever, I haven't personally really liked Google, mainly because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of its user interface. I also don't really like the promoted tab. And also I kinda like to split up where I put all my business services, the things on which I rely. Don't really like to put everything in, all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. Uh, so that's why I like to trust one company for my web hosting, one company for my email hosting and another company for like my cloud storage. That way I'm, I've kind of got some diversity in terms of the different companies on which I am dependent to run my business. So since I wasn't going to be using Gmail, that left me a little bit in a difficult situation, which was actually trying to find a place that did host good, secure, reliable email that would work with a custom domain. And that's when I learned about Hushmail. So Hushmail is actually popular because it allows you to do end-to-end -end encryption. So if one person has a uh, has a Hushmail account emailing to another person with a Hushmail account, the messages are completely encrypted so that both uh, only the recipient and the sender can actually see the message. Now, if you're going to be using this for business email, that won't really apply because again, unless you're sending email from one Hushmail account to another, the, that type, that level of encryption isn't going to actually apply. However, it is still very secure. It's still very reliable. I have very rare, rarely, if ever, experienced any downtime with them and their service. So I've continued to be a happy, happy paying customer. Now, the other thing with Hushmail, as well as that it's really affordable for just $5.99 a month, you can actually get your own custom domain email, a custom domain a specific email address and it's pretty easy to get up and running as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now the process of how to get up and running with your own custom domain in your email using Hushmail. Okay, so the first thing you want, you're going to want to do is to make sure that you get a domain if you don't have one already. For the sake of this video, I'm actually just going to go ahead and purchase one. Looks like they have one called rightly.com email which is actually on sale so i'm actually just going to purchase a domain this will be a little bit different for you if you already have a domain so if you already have a domain you're going to want to edit the dns settings which we'll get into here in a moment so uh, as soon as i actually purchase this domain okay so i went ahead and i purchased my domain so then in hover all i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on manage my domain and in order to get up and running, now if you're using something like Hover, technically you could use their email service, but I like Hushmail's a little bit better because it has some uh, better features built in, in my opinion. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on DNS, and then over here is where we're actually going to manage uh, how to get this set up via Hushmail. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to hushmail.com. You're gonna see up here, there's an option for business. We're gonna click on that. Scroll on down and then you're gonna see that there's a lot of options here. I mean, if you are a lawyer or a healthcare provider, you could select one of those. Most of us are just gonna select the small business. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on small business. And then uh, for the small business, you'll see that it's just $5.99 per month. And I think they do have, yeah, just a $10 activation fee as well. And they do have uh, email archiving. If you get their plus version, most of us probably don't need that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click sign up. Then what we're going to do, they're going to ask for the domain that we're going to be using within Hushmail. So you want to make sure that you put, click on I own a domain and then just paste that in there. Then enter the name of the uh, first account you want to create. Create. They are going to charge you an additional $5.99 per user per month. So be aware of that. So if you're going to have multiple users, so then you're going to want to go ahead and select a passphrase. So I've got one here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. Then they're just going to ask for a little bit of information about uh, the company. I can just type in your name if you're going to be, if you are your small business, and then we're gonna enter in payment information. Okay, so once you have entered in all of your payment information, they're going to have a, a confirmation page for you. So yep, I am legally authorized on behalf of this business. Uh, 
Yep, uh, to all of the consent. Uh, no, I don't want to receive news, so we'll just go ahead and click confirm purchase. Okay, so once you have made your purchase, you'll be able to see that you can then sign into Hushmail. So you're more than welcome to use their web interface. However, I prefer to use their uh, to use a third-party service, but you can also use their uh, webmail as well. So you can see here that I'm logged in, and it's going to be a pretty basic user experience. Again, it works, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get this set up just with a third-party provider. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do before we actually set up our email client is we need to head right back over to Hover and ensure that we have set up the MX records that are gonna be required to make this work. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add a new MX record. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to delete the one that's already there. And we'll go ahead and add a new MX record, host name, and this information is gonna be available via Hushmail's help as well, or you can just kinda copy what I'm doing right here. Priority 10. Oop, wrong field. So this is actually going to be perfect. So host name is gonna be at symbol, priority 10, and then this is going to be the mail server. And we're gonna go ahead and click add new record. Now we're gonna have to do that again. We're gonna have to add a second MX record. So MX record at 10 and then here's the second one. So then we're going to click add new record and then we're going to give that a few minutes for that to actually fully update and then we should be able to add this to our email provider. Okay, so now that we have the DNS settings uh, put together in our uh, domain registrar, now we are ready to add it to our email client. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the name of the email address. I'm going to paste in the password. Then we go ahead and click on additional settings. And here's where we're going to want to make sure that we have the right ports. Uh, and this is going to be uh, IMAP is what we're going to want to use. So the IMAP server. So we want to make sure that we copy that URL. Then we want to make sure that we have the right port, which is 993. That's correct. And we want to do SSL. And for the outgoing or outbox server, we want to go down to SMTP. We're going to want to make sure that we copy and paste in that server. I want to use 465 as the port number. And then typically we want to keep that at SSL. And then let's go ahead and, oh, forgot to type in the username. So we'll go ahead and that's just going to be the name of the email. And we'll go ahead and add that up here as well. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and click add. It looks like that connected properly. So you see over here that account is now available. Uh, and then within Spark, there's a lot of different features that you can use, but that is going to be it for just getting the email up and running. So then as you'll be able to see, I've received a new email because I connected via Spark. And then I can also uh, see an email that was welcoming uh, me here uh, to Hushmail. So that's those same settings are going to, going to apply regardless of what email uh, service provider you're using, or I should say what email app you're using. So Apple Mail or Outlook, uh, but that'll get you up and running. And then once you go through and you start sending email, you'll see now that it's going to be coming from that URL that you purchased. Okay, but there's some other really cool features that you can incorporate, and this is one of the main reasons actually why I use Hushmail. So I went back to the web interface. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click under the top right-hand corner, we're gonna click on Preferences. And then under Preferences, we have this option on the far right-hand corner that says Domain. And under Domain, we wanna click on Manage Your Domain. This is going to open us up a brand new window. Now here's what's really cool. You wanna click under Domains on the left-hand sidebar, and you wanna look for this option that says Email Forwarding. The reason why this is so cool, uh, I'm sorry, not Email Forwarding, we want to go ahead and go to Configure Domain. This is what's so cool because most email service providers I have found in the past make you pay for each individual email address and Hushmail is no different. But the problem is that if somebody sends an email, uh, an email to an address that doesn't exist on this domain, it just gets lost. Whereas this, which what we can do is under catch all email, I can go ahead and say uh, Thomas at 
rightly.email. So that's the email that I set up. Now what will happen is if I go in here and I click save, now if somebody decides to send an email to, I don't know, Frank at rightly.email, it will go to Thomas at rightly.email. And the cool thing is this is a catch-all email. So if you start adding your coworkers at, at, or your employees or your contractors and you set them up and you pay for individual mailboxes, those emails will always go to this individual email. However, if an email address doesn't exist, it goes to this catch all email address, which is really cool. Just so we can see this in action, let's go ahead and I will send an email from my main email address. So let's go ahead and, so just for fun, let's do bill at rightly dot email. Hello, just testing, this is a test. So we know for a fact that we do not have the email address set up as a separate mailbox, bill at rightly.email. However, if we go ahead and we click send, there we go. We see it appears in my inbox, bill at rightly.email. So you, even if you just so happen to tell people the wrong email address, as long as you get the domain right, you are still gonna receive that email. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful. I've found that super useful myself. I can't even number the amount of email addresses that I've set up in the past and that catch-all uh, feature makes Hushmail super useful because that way if somebody accidentally types or spells your name wrong, you're still gonna make sure that you're receiving all of the email sent to that domain. Plus you get the added benefit of looking more professional because you have your own custom domain. It's not my name here at gmail.com. Particularly if you're running a business on the web, having your own domain is gonna be super important. So if you found this useful, hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification to ensure that you always get the latest from Rightly TV. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this episode of Rightly TV. Be sure to click on one of the other episodes on this page. Plus, head on over to rightly.co where you'll be able to create a free account which will give you access to all the videos, the podcast, articles, downloads, and more. Again, head on over to rightly.co and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.